Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the TJR Auto Channel. My name is Tyler and in today's video, I would like to get the GTO rear cradle wrapped up. Let's get it. Okay guys, so after cleaning up the OG subframe, which we have bestowed in front of us, as we can tell with all that damage. No, that's a lot of damage! I don't really think it's worth running. Um, as we can tell, this thing is pretty cooked. It's pretty cooked. That piece is loose in there. It's, it's cracked in multiple spots. It's torn. It's just, it's horrible. It's, it's honestly horrible. So, uh, because this thing is in such rough shape, this being the primary area that I'm talking about, I ended up just buying another subframe. So,
Alrighty guys, well there you have it. That is the little refurb on the rear cradle setup situation for the GTO. Now, it is unfortunate that I didn't decide to fix the original subframe, but honestly, just as a safety concern, I really don't think it was worthwhile. God forbid it decided to crack somewhere else in the future. After reinforcing one area, you're just weakening others in my eyes. So I'm glad that I took the time to go pick up the subframe. I think it was like 250 bucks. Not the end of the world, you know, when you're already this deep into a car, if you know what I'm saying. But the new subframe looks killer with the beautiful diff bolted to it. The Hotchkiss adjustable rear sway bar with poly end links. Um, the new fresh hard lines, as well as the Goodridge stainless steel brake lines, which I think I showed you. There's also some hanging under the car that will connect to the hard line that I made. And then we still do have to do the fronts as well. Uh, it was a full kit for the entire car. So was pretty reasonably priced and I've heard good things about the brand, so I have faith in it. But everything back here is basically up to date minus all of the suspension bushings, which honestly didn't look bad. So I actually kind of have high hopes that we won't have to do them for a while. But once we get everything into the car, then I can tighten down all of our suspension arm bolts and nuts. That's why they're all just loosely thrown together right now. So when you move it, it's a little, little wiggly diggly, but it's fine. We're getting there. If you guys enjoyed and want to see some more content, make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and drop a comment down below. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. I truly do appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.